Apple this week becoming the latest computer maker to introduce machines that don't use Intel-based chips. That means the makers of the two major operating systems, Windows and Mac, are both now manufacturing non-Intel computers. So could this up in the market? Well, John Ford is here to tell us. And on the other hand, and John, what are you thinking? Well, Becky, I'm not going to lie. Th this is upending the PC market. If you're Intel, this is bad. I mean, you got AMD attacking you from the mainstream PCs under $1,000. Then you got Microsoft taking a little stab at the high end with an ARM chip in the Surface Pro X. But that was quiet. But now you've got Apple loud coming for your head. I mean, the claims Apple is making with the M1 chip in the MacBook Pro are insane. They're claiming up to 2.8 times the CPU speed versus Intel and up to 20 hours of battery life. Now, the problem here isn't just that Apple's going and doing its own ARM chip. It's that to compete with Apple, other PC makers are going to look at Intel alternatives, too. And that means Intel's either got to do major custom work or amp up chip performance so much that they blow Apple's claims out of the water. And all this is happening as Intel's having trouble manufacturing next generation chips anyway. Ouch. Intel's in trouble. So, John, it sounds like you don't see a lot of good options for Intel here. Well, uh, on the other hand, you can't just believe everything you see in these movie length Apple commercials that they call launch events. I mean, you realize that's what these things are now with streaming. Anyway, Intel's not in that big a trouble yet. Apple says how much faster the M1 chip is compared with the old Intel Core i7 chips. Okay, but Intel's got an 8-core i9 now. Maybe compare it with that. Until we get real-world reviews and benchmarks, we won't know what these claims really are worth from Apple, but the battery life thing is impressive. Give Apple that. But also, for most people, the difference between 10 hours of battery life in a laptop and 20 is less significant than the difference between five hours and 10. So bottom line, yes, the pressure is on for Intel in the PC market like it never has been before. It's not just battling AMD, it's battling Qualcomm and Nvidia and now Apple. But for Intel, this is a home game. They've made some mistakes, but they know this market. When Intel's new chips come out in 2021, those comparisons are gonna look a lot more like a competitive PC market, not an upended one. But John, if, if you're, in a situation like Apple, why wouldn't you make your own chips if you can control it better, have it more directed, and, and go beyond? I, I guess the question becomes, can other companies do the same thing, or is, that, is it just Apple who's going to be able to really focus on these things and, and, and do so many different things, be experts in lots of different things? Apple's in this unique position, Becky, because they make the Mac operating system themselves. They make so many different uh, components. They're very vertically integrated. Unlike, say, an HP, a Dell, a Lenovo, where they're getting the operating system from Microsoft, they're getting some chips from Intel or AMD, and they're kind of putting it together in their own custom way. So Apple can tune its stuff Special. The, the downside, potentially, is if Apple doesn't do as great a job with those individual components as specialists like Intel. So not only is Apple trying to make its own CPUs now, it's also trying to make its own 5G chips. Can it do all that at once and craft its products? I mean, Apple's Apple, so maybe they can, but maybe they can't. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.